This is Cal from Dirty Weasel. Welcome back to Skyrim Maximus. Episode 10. Alright, good morning guys. We're outside of Falkreath and uh, Vilya and I are going to go check out a rumor of a blade. We are, let's see, my items. I have this note and it says, warning to travelers. To whom it may concern, there have been some rumors of a former blade living in a camp near Peak Shade Tower. Recent reports have also told of Thalmor Justicars being slaughtered on the road to Falkreath. Anyone traveling near the old tower should proceed with caution. Alright, alright. Well, that's where we are. We're outside of Falkreath, so... Falkreath's down there somewhere. And this tower... is... up here, let's see. Oh, there's a sign post right there. Let me pick this up. And it should be up here. I'm not really sure. There's the tower. Okay. Are there mushrooms here? Mushrooms? Hello, mushrooms. Alright, I don't see mushrooms. Let's just go up here and take a look. Mushrooms? Mushrooms, yes. Peak Shade Tower discovered. Alright. You know, blades are known to be... They protect the face well. And yeah. they come in quite handy after late night's table dancing at an inn. How would you... How do you figure that? Oh, oh well. Um, I think we need to be armed going into this. Let's see. Put this up on here. Ooh, butterfly. I'm so easily distracted. Alright, what we got in here? <clears throat> There's someone in here. There's a dead Spriggan. Anyone else? It's a Khajiit! Look out! Vilya, it's Khajiit! Khajiit! They don't seem to be doing anything. You know, I don't really trust Khajiits all that much. But let's... He doesn't seem to be doing much. Let's, let's talk to him here. Hello? Sir? Khajiit? Sir Vashni. I'd rather fight bandits than Drogo. At least bandits know when to stay dead. Yeah, that, that's important. Let's. But I want to talk to this guy. Why? Why are you wearing? I've never seen a Khajiit in Blade's armor. Who are you? You have something to say. Well, save your breath. The way I see it, you don't have much more of them left. Is was that a threat? Did you? Did you just threaten me? Hmm. You should be careful who you threaten. The one who lost her last breath. It's a. Or is she? Down to her last breath. Okay. I just wanted to talk. I, you know, I heard rumors about a Blades up here fighting Thalmor. You know, I, I'm not a big fan of the Thalmor myself. I wanted to just talk, talk to you a bit. The cowards whose Blades say nothing. You are so rude. I just, I just want to know who you are. The son of Cloud the Temple named me the Desert Fang. The Desert Fang. The Thalmor. Know me as Descoria. Okay. To you, I am simply Savashni. Savashni. Who spared your life? Oh, you are so annoying. You know, you have a a blade's sword and blade's armor. Tell tell me about that. Akaviri, forged in a dragon land, is a sword and armor of the blades. Sworn to the service of the true emperor. That, that, no that is correct. Is. My sword serves no one. But you could I'm... be Tiber Septim reborn, and I'll still send you back to the divines with your head in your arms. Hmm. Okay. I've heard the blades do not recruit those who will not serve. Okay. I've heard the blades do not recruit those who will not serve, so why are you rec You I think on who they were, and not who they are. Okay. The blades are a group of bandits, rogues, and traitors. Most that's, of all, that's not they who are they fools. were. 
fools who couldn't see past their own weakness. Like parasites who cling to the lion's mane. The weak must ally with the strong, and prey the on fit off by the stroke of its tongue. It makes no difference whether this Titus Mead is of dragon blood or skeever, just that his army stands between them and the executioner's axe. If the blades weren't fools, they would measure their emperors by where they seat their Thalmor guests. At the table, or on a pike. Well, I'm no fan of the Thalmor myself, but uh, you know, the white gold concordant kind of forced the the pact on the emperor. But hmm. it may not be a blade, but I doubt you're just some scavenger from the first guy. Hmm. You may not be a blade. I'm starting to think you're not, but I doubt you're just some scavenger. True. The one I killed to gain this armor was indeed a blade, a master of the dual sword hmm. technique. And my mentor. You killed your he was own a man teacher. Of Forty years, and I know older than a dozen. When I first bested him in single combat, why, yet why he was I not still my that? better. And our bodies would never be at an age where I could prove otherwise. Hmm. At sixteen, my mentor had exhausted his use to me in terms of body. I would have granted him death right then. If not for the secrets his mind guarded. What secrets? The way of the nine. Stances the the nine. and techniques derived from the teachings of the divines. You know, when I served that with the uh, Emperor, I heard about this. And his gift to me, his only pupil. Hmm. But only when I was ready. A phrase thrown around by masters of all disciplines. Usually for good teach reason. Their pupils the value of patience. What I wasn't ready for, and never would be, was religious nonsense with which he dressed the art of the kill. Now as I enter my prime, I search for the lesson that escaped into the void when we last crossed our blades. You last crossed our You're missing a lesson. Hmm. So you killed the one person who could teach you. Hmm. What's so special about this technique? So what's so special about this technique? I'm curious. Why you... You're miss... You sound like you're missing something. What... What are you missing? Fool. The stance of Arke is the very heart of the dual sword technique. Dual like sword. death, ice and fire. The nature of all things are born of two. Hmm. This duality applies to both sword life technique. and battle. When a mortal kills a foe, in that instant, Arke grants death to one and life to the other. Correct. Or so the priestly ones will tell you. Yet the true duality lies not in the dirt and stars, but in how the blade serves as both a sword and shield. Yeah. Twin moons, one sky. Each blade shifts from offense to defense, a mirror reflection of the other, and the opponent knows not where to strike. Yet as it is not a single stance, but a motion that adapts to its opponent, it has proved as impenetrable in theory as it is in practice. Hmm. Tell me about the Way of the Nine. This sounds very interesting. You know, sword techniques are sort of my profession. You will understand little of what I speak, and much of it so is of no crap practical out of you. use, but facile metaphors tossed around by dying man. But I will enjoy watching your brow twitch in confusion as I pass his words on to you. Take, for instance, Debella. The god of beauty. Hmm. Feeling a bit hungry. What does the stance of Stendar entail? Stendar's mercy. The only technique of the nine that utilizes a single blade and a single cut. As two warriors pass on the road, the blade is drawn from the scabbard 
and returned in a single motion. Twenty yeah. paces later, a red gash will appear on the victim's neck. No thicker than a cat's hair. Thirty paces later, and the gash will form a crescent as pearls of blood trickle from the wound. Fifty paces, and the line has run full circle, the blood dribbling onto his collar. What happens beyond fifty paces? The victim reaches for his neck. And upon touching it, his head topples over. Hmm. So fifty-one paces, Trevor, from where you stand. That's where you can exhale. <sighs> like you could probably take me. What about the stance of the Zenithar? Zenithar. Right foot facing east. Left foot facing north. Swords crossed in a defensive position. When braced together, two blades are as resolute as any shields, and the winds of Zenithar with a shift for those who labor and endure. Okay. Intriguing. I am I am intrigued by this. Believe it or not, even though he's really annoying. Intriguing. Tell me about the uh, technique derived from Akatosh. Akatosh. Dragon God of Time. And what's battle but timing? No different than a bard's tune. Dance to the beat of a throbbing heart. This is all the stance of Akatosh is in an offensive position. A series of flurries that disrupt one's timing and rhythm. It's designed to stagger an opponent and end the fight quickly. But should you fail, you will fall to your own exhaustion. High risk and high reward. Interesting. Tell me about the stance of Mara. The embrace of Mara. Both blades held out horizontally to create the illusion of an opening. Love too can be a source of bait. In this case, the love of blood. And Mara's blades close faster and hold tighter than any trap. Hmm. I like Kenner's technique. The stands of Kynareth. Both blades pointed upward to the sky. Power sacrificed for stealth. Just as we know not from where the rain falls, the blade's vertical position masks its angle and its target. Hmm. Let's just get through this. Stance of Talos. Talos. Mortal man ascended to the vines. So the front time's foot passing faced quickly. The opponent, just as Talos faced the armies of men. The back foot faces the rear to the invisible plane of the eight. Two swords pointed north and south, forwards and backwards in an open stance. If you only see the mortal man, you'll neglect the hidden divine. Hmm. Julianos. Let's move on to Julianos. Julianos teaches that for one thing. No ten thousand. He's Study God wisdom. closely what is distant and look from a distance at what is close. Bah. Garbled poetry and peasant wisdom. Unnecessary layers of depth that belies what is the simplest of all truths. It is easier to kill a one-armed foe than one with two arms and a sword. The stance of Julianos is designed to disarm, quite literally, in fact. Hmm. The tip of the blades nearly scraped the ground, sweeping upward to catch the crook of the elbow where the joints meet and the flesh is exposed. Tell me about the stance of Debella. She stands nude, arms raised, cupping a golden flower, no. pouring cool water over her supple breasts. But here, beauty is artifice. The stance is seduction. The blade raised in the right hand glints like the midday sun, bewitching your eyes while its partner lies in the grass. Hmm. 
I'm interested in how you killed your master. He was a sword master. I'm interested in how you did it. Because you were a mere kitten. It snowed that night when it should have rained. My mentor looked at the sky and said Kynareth was all out of tears. And I said, Kynareth does not cry for fools. We drew our swords <laughs> and dashed through the trees, our feet rapping against the snow. The night before, I had chosen my stance. While most would use the flurry of Akatosh, the technique is too violent. So what did you do? I could do? kill my mentor and lose sight of the very thing I sought to learn. And in the spiritual sense, the father does not come before the son. What stance did you use? It was the defense of Zenithar that shielded me from his attack. If I saw both his blades as swords and not shields, I could parry, if not kill. Our blades clashed, but made no sound. Muffled by the snowstorm, his swords came at me from all directions, but I kept my eyes on his feet. Or more precisely, the tracks he left in the snow. There was a pattern there, if only I had more time. Yeah, if you were a true master, you would have seen it. So you switched stances. To Akadosh, I went for the flurry and the kill. Yet when I saw his blade rise through the block, I hesitated, only to see that very blade run me through. Hmm. It was then that he revealed the true essence of the technique. I assumed he moved to protect his life, and his stroke came for my death. But the blade missed my heart by the width of cat's hair. I made no such mistake with his neck. And so you killed him, through luck if not through skill. Just like that, it was over. I dropped to my knees and reached for my potion as his body drowned in a cascade of snow. I tossed the half-empty bottle beside his severed head and said he could have the rest. When he didn't respond, I couldn't help but laugh. You are All a vile little cat. The tracks, the blood, and his legacy washed away in a tide of white. Hmm. Started the way of the nine. Ask keepers for information regarding crypts that may house Senator's master, or Zavashi master. No, I'm done talking to you. You're a really Keep annoying going, person. Then. Yeah. I should kill you, but I'm not sure I, I'm not sure I could, actually, quite frankly. Make it quick. There's a chest. Let's just check this chest real fast. Dwarven helmet of a... Ooh, okay. Just kind of dumb for not getting that. So, uh... Hmm. Vilya, we have a quest. This... Cat gave us a quest through talking to him. Let's see what we've got. Let's see. Quest. Way of the Nine. Savashni has told me the story of how she drew, slew her master and how it left the Way of the Nine without a true heir. I should keep an eye out for any further developments. Ask innkeepers for information regarding crypts that may house Savashni's mentor. Alright. Well, Speak. Yeah, well, I'll shut up. I gotta eat something. I heard, that took a long time. Nice job. And. We'll see. Do I need more water on top of that? Yeah, okay, right. <clears throat> Alright, we're out of here. So. That's the. Woo. That's the source of the uh, Justicar murders. I think we'll leave him to his time. Where's your horse? Where's Blizzard? Blizzard, come here. We have got to get on the road. Ooh. He's there, lady. Where we gotta go? We've got to get going here. Go through Helgen. You know, we should really try to get back on the path. Should probably go through Riverwood. We've got to get, you know, to High Hrothgar. So there's a couple choices. We could go around Helgen. Diver said, that's kind of going to be the best, most direct route. we got to go over the mountain again. We haven't been this way. We should probably do that. So, uh, okay. 
Billy, we gotta go. Let's ride. Call Bruise. Oh, there she is. Is it a she or a he? I wonder about that. Alright. We gotta ride. What's this? Who are these guys? Hmm. This doesn't look promising. Let me get up. Get off my horse here. Uh oh. Look over there. That's a bandit. Yep, you're right. Whoa, he's shooting at me. Ow! Wow, he's good with that. Good with that bow. Now I'm gonna get you. I missed. You know, I should probably arm up here. Where's I don't really do fours. I should probably have that up and going just in case. Have that up. Uh, oak flesh. There we go. Run, 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 run. Oh, I hit the tree. Great. Run, 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 run. You're not running. Don't you even try that. See if I can get some angle on this guys. How come I'm not running? I don't run very fast, do I? There we go. That distracted him. Where is he? Little cover. Alright, that took care of him. Is there anyone else? Where are they? I don't see them. You know, I know there's, I can hear them fighting. Where are they? Is that it? Are they are they all gone? What happened? I don't know. Let's see. Hi Volja. Did you take care of the other one for me? I got this guy. Longbow. Steel bolt, there's a steel bolt I had him with. What's this? Ash longbow. Not really even worth much. Hold on to that. Where's the guy that you killed? Is he down here? Is that a goat? It's a baby goat. Whoa! The goat set off the uh, trap. It had a pot. You set a trap with a pot in it, really? Skyrim may be cold. Okay. But it is surely very beautiful. It's a baby goat. Okay. Yep. Two pots in the trap. Alright. Come on, Blizzard. Where? I left. Where is Blizzard? He's over there. <clears throat> How did you get over there? I don't know. Such a strange horse. Come on. Come on. Why won't you let me on? Alright, fine. We'll just go without you. We'll just keep running. There's a spider. Really? Alright, let's try again. 
Did you hear that noise? Go. Must have been the spider. Go yeah, it's him. a spider. I'm gonna nail him with my arrows. Yeah, you do that. I'll run around and smack him with the sword. Here we go. Yep, right to the head. Alright. Oh, really? A wolf? Really, wolf? You will be so dead. <sighs> okay. What is going on around here? Can we just get on with the road here? Can we just get a move on? Cross by this way. Okay, I'll take that. What's up this way? Do we care? Come on. Come on, Blizzard. Let's see if you let me on, you know. There we go. Okay. And we're back on the road. We're going up. Come on, get on your horse. We need to get moving. It's been a long day. We need to get on the road. Alright, so we're riding into Riverwood. And Vilge is singing again. Well, that makes for a pleasant trip, I'll say that much. Campsite. Okay. We'll ride through here. Then we'll make a turn down at the Honey Brew Meadery. You know, we should probably check at this inn. Because they said, you know, ask at innkeepers for, you know, the, the, look for this mentor guy, the grave of his mentor. So we should come in here, check it out. Hello, innkeeper. Grognar, got a question for you. Og Orgnar, sorry. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Any rumors lately? We've got something of a love triangle here in Riverwood. Fingal really? and Sven, both vying for Camilla's affections. Hmm. Uh, any more Nobody rumors? trust those mages way up north in their college. Gods only know what they do up there. <sighs> okay, well. Of I'll course. get a water refill while I'm here. Okay, there's nothing. That's what he said, right? That's what he said. Ma Quest map. Start journal. Okay. Asking keepers for information regarding crypts that May has. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just we'll just kind of keep track of it. Let's see. What happens if I? Oh, that's not what I want. Okay. Let's we'll keep that open. We know where we're going. We're going to High Hrothgar, so we'll just. Keep that one open to see if anyone talks to us about that. Alright, and we're on the road again. So let's just get going. I was going to stop in at uh, White Run, but there's no really no point. Alright, we'll just keep going. Till we reach... Uh, boy, the water looks pretty, doesn't it? Wow, that's nice. It's really pretty... We'll see that much. I think it looks pretty good. Definitely changes things. As we just talking as Cal now. Purity does do it. Everyone is talking. Oh. But no one has That's new. To say. Oh, no wolfies right now, please. What was... Nope. What was... Yzmir's Falls. Oh, okay. That's nice. Isn't that pretty? Wow. That's new. That's very nice. Whoa! Don't fall in the water. It's very pretty to look at. Very impressed. Wayfair goes up when you, uh... What is this? Hello? Sir? Oh, I don't care. Just keep going here. Past the metery. There's the metery right there. My vision is always changing. Now 
finish uh, White Run. So we're gonna go that way, right? Iverstead. We're going to Iverstead. You with me, Vilja? 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 I don't know what I'm gonna call you. If you look around here, you will butterfly butterflies. It's always good to know, you know, butterflies are important now, chemical ingredient, plus they're pretty. That's where the, uh... What did you eat? Stop it. That's where we, uh, picked up the sword for Amarin. Strange. What? Strange what? Let's just keep going here. Ooh, stutter. What? Skeever. Just outrun him. He's not very fast. He's a rat. Are you shooting stuff? Who are you shooting? I don't know. Are you shooting random stuff? Oh, there's a saber cat up there. It's like Wild Kingdom out here. Sabercat versus wolves. Looks like a campfire up there. Probably a giant's campfire up from the size of it. Tower. There's a tower here. Don't I have a bounty for this place? I think I do. Dragonborn come. Yeah, you sing to him, tell him we're coming. Wait, look at that chair just floating in the air. It's a magic chair. Going for a wild ride. Let's get off and take a look here. Hmm. Is that someone that been over there? This is Volatime Tower. Where are that guy? Yeah, baby. That's super long distance right there. There's another one. Still. Yeah. I'm gonna wear these guys out. You gonna come back up? Gotta stand there. Oh, he moved. We're running out of stamina when you look for that long. No. That's that woman there. I missed. I'm gonna run out of arrows very soon here. I gotta start thinking about conserving some of these things. Can you come up here? Tell you what, we'll just we'll let Villager do the uh -oh. Villager do the uh, Over there. the bow stuff. The Help! Help! Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over. Yeah. Say, not not happening. Gold if you want to use our road. Huh? Tough talk for someone who's about to have their guts. Spilled. Yeah, not likely. Bad time to get lost. Already with the uh, potion things. I have magic. Where's my magic? I should probably do oak flesh. There we go. All right. I think we're ready. Where'd you go, Vilya? Come on, show me how brave you are. Oh lord. Oh god. I fell off. I gotta go back up. Come on. <laughs> I 
I fell off the stupid bridge. Try this again. Is that the best you can do? Okay, I'm going to die if I'm not careful. Just like three of them. Got Forty-five health. He's off. She's off the bridge. Anyone else? I don't know. I have an ability. This is the end for you. Somebody's over, over there, and they're fighting. Did you fall down? There's someone up here. It's kind of a hectic little battle, isn't it? So much easier to rob when you're dead. Billy, where are you? Well, I'm not hiding from you. I'm just kind of fighting randomly. Don't mind me. Anyone else? Can't get up here. Where are you? I'm. I'm up here. I'm. Checking your joint out here. Looking for you. Where are you? Okay. Okay. Anyone else? There's still more people. Where are they? That's Vilya. Anyone else? There's someone somewhere. You can't hide from me. I'm not trying to hide from you. I can't find you. You can't hide from me. All right. Over there? You can't hide from me. Down here. Oh, there you are. There you are. I can take you. <laughs> Go get her. I'm gonna nail her with my arrows. <laughs> there we go. Don't you think so? I think that's it. I think we got him. All right. That was kind of, kind of a weird battle. I'm gonna take that. Iron. I can melt that down. So. So, Vilya, yeah, we have to try and get back up there. It's getting late, too. What time is it? Oh, yeah. It's almost nighttime. Um. We're probably gonna be better off swimming. Stay there. Water cool and refreshing. There's gonna be dead bodies everywhere, Vilya, and it's gonna get late. We should probably think about staying here. Um, I like the lockpick. Nordmail, Nordmail light bracers. I think we already have a set for you, don't we? High wounds mail. Yeah, I'll take it. It's worth some money. Iron claw. Okay. Right. Not really worth much. Okay. Anything in this cooking pot while we're here? No, to use a cooking pot. All right, so we'll check this place out. Yes, I'm just being silly. No, you're not being silly. You did a fine job. Um, chest with a trap. Unlock. Let's see. This way. A little more. Nope. Back this way. There we are. Money. I'll take money. Anything else? Dresser.
I'm gonna run out of bolts. Make sure there's no one else up here. I don't think so. Iron arrow, iron arrow. You know, how many arrows do you have? I don't even know. I should probably keep that in mind. The bed here. Yeah, I'm a bit hungry. Empty. I don't want to sleep in some bandit's bunk. Water closet. Food. That bread. Oh, they have lots of food. Oh. Stop pushing. Oh. Some barrels here, empty, empty. Oh, it's kind of worthless. So we went back across here. these guys over here. We should check them out. Hmm. Bunch of barrels. Carrot. A little food pantry here. One more. Alright. We always need food. There's this guy. Easton Drummer Longbow. We have one for you, don't we? But it's worth bows with a lot. Red Guard Knight Light Gauntlets. I wonder what those look like on you. Let's take them. That's one of my bolts. This guy. Yeah, there. Hunting Shark Bow. Nord Me. Ooh. Snow Bear Cloak of Resist Magic. Take that. Uh, I don't care about the rest. There's one up here. Wasn't there? Where'd he go? There he is. Eh, nothing really. So, well, yeah. I think we'll be staying the night here. What do you think? Not the best choice, but it may be our only choice here. Because it's getting late, and, you know, bad things happen. In Skyrim, when it gets late, nope. the garlic. I'll make a potion if I wanted to. Let's say books. Anything I'm worth? Nope. Nope. Nothing there. Novice long. Okay, we can do this, or not. There we are. Refined Moonstone. Okay. I'll take that. Thank you. And we'll go upstairs, check this out. There's a bed up here. I got to share a bed. I, it looks better than the cots downstairs. Dwarven Arrow. I'll give those to you. Elven Battle Axe of Crushing. Reduces armor rating by 50 points for 10 seconds. Well, that's quite an interesting little thing. We'll take all that. Another water closet. Nothing there. Up here? No. Check up here. Cheese goat wedge. Imperial short bow of poison. Hmm. Take it. Taking it. More enchanting. Still no fire enchant. You know... Lucan would really like to have a fire enchant. Scale cloak. Healing potion. Alright. You all I don't need that. Or do I need that? I'll, take, I'll, I'll just take the paper. Since I really don't know what to do with it, I'll just take it anyways. Okay, what do we got? Book. The Black Arrow, Volume 2. The Black Arrow, Volume 2 by Gork Queen. 
In the last dinner in my employ at the palace, the Duchess, quite surprisingly, had invited the mayor of Molivia and Master Hyamas? Hmm. Himself, among other guests, the servants gossiped, was manic. The mayor had been there before, albeit regularly. But Himaste's presence was unthinkable. What could she mean by such a conciliatory gesture? The dinner itself progressed along with perfect, if slightly cool, civility among the, all parties. Himaste and the Duchess were both very quiet. The mayor tried to engage the group in a discussion of the Emperor Pelagius's force, new son, and heir Uriel, but it failed to spark much interest. Lady Valea, elderly but much more vivacious than her sister the Duchess, led most of the talk about the crime and scandal in Elden Root. I have been encouraging her to move out to the country, away from all that unpleasantness for years now, the Duchess said, meeting the eyes of the mayor. We've been discussing more recently the possibility of her building a palace in Molivia Hill, but there's so little space there, as you know. Fortunately, we've come to a discovery. There's a wide field just a few days west on the edge of the river, ideally suited. It sounds perfect, the mayor smiled and turned to Lady Valea. When will your ladyship begin building? The very day you move your village to the site, replied the Duchess of Wuda. The mayor turned to her to see that she was joking. She obviously was not. Think of how much more commerce you could bring to your village if you were close to the river, and said Lady Valea joy jovially. And Master Hamaste's students could have easier access to his fine school. Everyone would benefit. I know it would put my sister's heart at ease if there was a lesson trespassing and poaching on her lands. How long is this book? It's way too long. I'm not going to read all this. It's very entertaining, but... Holy crumb. Blah, blah, blah. As we left one another that day, he was waving goodbye and he said, I am pleased to see you doing so well, my friend. I am happy you moved that chair. <laughs> Here, I'm taking it. So, Bill, yeah. We are going to spend the night here. Hope you don't mind. Hope you don't mind. We're, it's going to be a long day. And uh, quite frankly, we learned a lot. So that that Khajiit was interesting, but uh, I think we're done for the day. So we're going to call it an evening here. Wake up in the morning, get back on the road to Iverstead. That way we can get to High Rothgar. Thanks for joining Luke and Vilya on our travels. And uh, thanks for watching Skyrim Maximus. My name is Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel. And I'm signing off. Your history is over, and the dragon.